What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I will guide you through the fastest way you can obtain the Black Armory Forge Hand Cannon, the Kindled Orchid. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would love to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so last week we know the Kindled Orchid was a super rare drop from the Nessus Gold Phantom Forge. I ran this thing a gazillion times and never had it drop, nor did any of my numerous fire teams I did this forge with, nor did any of my clan mates or friends. So it was super rare indeed. This week it's one of the weapons Ada 1 offers the Schematic for. But before you can even do that and are able to collect the schematic, you have to do one of the two later bounties she has, which you can see on screen now. These two bounties offer a ballistic lug which you need to obtain this schematic. So go ahead and complete these weekly bounties, or one of them at least, and then go ahead and grab the schematic. Once this is obtained, the first two steps of this uh, schematic are to obtain a weapon core and get basically 25 Vex kills, which rewards you 25 unstable radial areas. The weapon core needs to be from one of the two forged bosses on Nessus, so either the one in the Artifacts Edge area or the Hollows area. Just wait around for the forge boss to come in. You don't actually have to kill the boss, just basically grab it from one of the crates that's spawning where you have to destroy one of the drones before you can actually open it. So just do that. Once you've done that, people, you can then go ahead and go into this lost sector within Artifact's Edge. Vex are all over the place and you will get this part done in a single run, the 25 uh, kills on them. I mean, in fact, you could probably do this while waiting for that forge boss to spawn into the same area. It's actually really easy like that, to be honest. The next step then is to get 25 hand cannon mortar kills and 75 hive enemy kills. To get this done super fast, simply go to Mars and load into the Braytech Futurescape area. Once in here, head into this lust sector as I do the core terminus. Just run through killing absolutely everything once you have killed every enemy in this lost sector, fast travel back to the same area and then start up the escalation protocol and finish off what you still need. The next step is to get 30 precision hand cannon kills. So do what you can at this escalation protocol while you're still here until the enemies get a little more powerful. Then go back into the core terminus lost sector and finish off what you need. Once done, don't leave Mars as the next step is to get 20 Radiant Seeds. Killing the last sector boss gives you 10 per time, so 10 seeds per last sector boss kill. So simply kill him, run out the last sector, run back in and run straight to the end, ignoring all the enemies and killing the boss at the last sector again and this step is done people, super easy and super quick. The next step then is to go back to Ada 1 within the tower to get the hand cannon frame. Then the next step is to go and complete the Nessus Gold Phantom Forge. Still not the easiest for a lot of people, but it is the final step in obtaining this hand cannon. So you must do this uh, to actually get the hand cannon. So probably if you ain't high enough, wait until you've actually done all your weekly. So you get that powerful gear to level yourself up before attempting it to make it easier on yourselves. That's probably the smart thing to do. But it is the last step, so you have to do it before you are rewarded this hand cannon. It does drop with random rolls, and to be honest, mine ain't too bad. The best of my fire team for sure. But when you do this, people, let me know what roll on the hand cannon you get. But yes, people, just a quick guide in getting the Black Armory Forge hand cannon. On that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, like guides, top fives, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but again thanks for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one